I don't support postponement of the base motion because I feel that the amendment that I've worked on is a critical change. And a lot of the conversation that we had on Tuesday, um, I think was very important. And I've worked with some stakeholders and folks in the community to better understand their concerns about some of that original language. And so this amendment, this, this amendment that at some point may be an actual amendment, parliamentary, um, it's on the message board. I've handed it, I handed it out at 10 o'clock this morning. Uh, it, it removes the effective tax rate language. It replaces it with something that's much more specific about protecting our existing employees and protecting um, previously approved programs. It's about broadening the conversation around the budget and ensuring that as we make decisions to add programs and, and add capital expansions that we're considering them as additions to what we've done in the past and not considering them as removing from a base budget that's proposed. And so it's not, uh, it has no um, other intent but to say as we go through a budget cycle that we see a budget illustration, to use the word that's in, in this language, that allows us to say of the things we've spoken about in the last year, we are affirmatively adding a few more. These are the ones we're going to add instead of what I've seen as a member of the community, which is the manager comes back with a, with a budget that says, here are all the things you want and a tax rate that upsets the community. Now you guys have to decide what to cut. So that's the intent of, of what I have laid out early this morning. and, and